So did you see his latest video, though, at the end? Yes, I did. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about James Yeager. Yes. Okay, he went to Blade Show. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll bring in a photo right now. Um, yeah, so he said that he's around gun people all the time. Right. And gun people are really weird, okay? True. So he goes to Blade Show, uh-huh. and he's around knife people who are really, really effing weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought said. it would be the other way around, I honestly. know, yeah. But, I mean, okay. To be crazy about guns is one thing. To be crazy about oh, knives, yeah. I guess, it's another. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Blade Show <laughs> recap, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, uh, we got back there. Well, we got back on Sunday night. A lot of driving. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fun driving. Back to work on Monday. Mm -hmm. Ugh, yeah. Uh, Blade Show was awesome. It was so much fun, Frankie. It was. <laughs> we had such a great experience there. We stayed in a hotel not... I mean, really, we were just like one exit away. Right. Yes. And it was uh, very close and... Man, it, it was, was fun. Awesome. I wish I was still there. I wish I, know, I was still there. We always come off like... It's like a Blade Show hangover. Yes. Well, day one, we got there on Friday, right? Right. We got there on Friday, and, um, well, Benchmade was the very first place that we stopped we at. We did, yes. Let's <laughs> talk about Benchmade, yeah. They were awesome. They really were, and look at this beautiful catalog. Beautiful 2016 catalog. Ooh, hey, wait, we have that. that. <laughs> yes, yes, you will have, have seen that. We have a lot of knives in Frankie, here, Frankie, I came actually. close to the Infidel. I came very close I to, know, to wanting really an Infidel. Uh -huh. The mini Infidel, too, because I think you'd really like it. I know, him. I would. Benchmade was really cool. They left a good impression on us. They like did. they seem like uh -huh. a family. Yeah, they really do. There's yeah. men and women there and they both seem really happy to be there. And they gave out these awesome lanyards. Which we there. used right away. Oh, yeah, we, we put our uh, we put our um, tickets yep. tags, yeah. Used them all weekend. Yep. But uh, yep. Yeah. That was that did happen to be our first stop. It was. It was um, right to the right. <laughs> Southern Grind. Mm-hmm. Frankie. Yes. They were awesome. They really were. Spider Monkey. Okay. They have a great animal names bad monkey they have stickers spider monkey for like all of their knives oops i dropped one you just dropped um one. they uh, have stickers for all of their knives i can't see yeah okay. Where do you, you are there we go yeah okay spider monkey rat um jackal rhino Look at I mean, this. you guys know me. I love my animals, so we guess what? I buy. love these. We will buy a Southern Grand I completely knife. will. It will happen. Yep, It will for happen. Sure. They're awesome. Made in the USA, in the South. Mm-hmm. Yep. Awesome. Oh, check it out. CRKT. Okay. Well, they sponsored the event, Frankie. They did. Hey, we met that guy right there. That guy. I'll roll in a photo. He's awesome. Here's Actually, here, real quick. Real quick. On a hat. We met... Um, Mr. Ken Onion himself. Yes. We told him he is largely responsible for our knife addiction. Mm -hmm. And yeah, CRKT. And also, um, who is, we're thankful for. I said, we're all, we're thankful and or. Um, oh, like, okay. I said, we're mad at I you say? almost. Yeah, like, I said, because we can blame you for. I blame you for our knife blame addiction you because and we spend a lot of money you. on knives now. Yeah. Yes, yes. Blame sort of a love hate relationship. You. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. We also met um, James Williams. Yes, we did. Okay. James Williams. Otanashi no Ken. Otanashi no Ken. Okay. Yeah. Um, lots of cool, lots of cool designs. Special Forces. CRKT is just freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. I really. They and left he, us with a good impression. Well, after he the solidified show. it too. He said that as a designer, CRKT is so willing to work with the designers, which I really enjoyed hearing. To too. hear that directly really from nice. the um, the collaborator designers themselves mm -hmm. was really cool. Yeah. They really support everything that they have. What knife is that? That's the new one from Ken Onion. Yes, this is. The, it's not out yet. What is but it it's called? The home Front. Home front, yes. And you can take it apart in pieces, which is just kind of crazy. Field strip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Yeah. Mine that was awesome. Back. That was awesome. Frankie Kaiser. No, oh, we pretty much hung out there for a day. Kaiser. <laughs> oh, gosh. They were so welcoming. Mm -hmm. They were so awesome. We felt like family there. Yep. They did happen to know our YouTube channel, but. They did, yes. They were like this with everybody. Okay, Kaiser is awesome they gave awesome discounts too well at the show and it wasn't just to us it mm -hmm. was to everybody there they were everybody. giving great discounts yeah um, they were giving dealer prices for everybody this is kind of a thing in general at blade show though you guys like if you're at blade show you're going to get good deals mm -hmm. you're going to get some good deals and kaiser yeah. was no different yeah it um, was really cool they welcomed us they <sighs> joyce and david <laughs> they're so cool there at kaiser mm -hmm. we love them we love them um yeah lots of stuff from kaiser in the yep. future yep more to come from them for sure browse blades yes 
brass plates, <laughs> some wild designs. We finally saw them in mm -hmm. person. They're very futuristic. Um, we bought one. Mm -hmm. The fillet knife. Yes, you yeah, did. You will have mm -hmm. seen that in last night's video, you guys. Very cool. Made in the USA. Um, some he amazing stuff. He was really stuff. cool, too. Very cool guy. Mm -hmm. yep. Oops, I dropped it. Yeah, yep. That's fine. It's out of the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, brass blades. There's another one right there. He has Just cool cards, freaking too. freaking awesome. Yeah. Really wild designs and some very functional designs as well. Very neat stuff. You'll see some more Very of that. affordable, too. We were surprised. We mm -hmm. were surprised I how they affordable they were. they were going to be a lot more expensive than they were. Okay, so we had to stop Frankie. Kershaw. Yeah. Kershaw was there. They were well represented. Some great knives, okay, mm -hmm. along with ZT. Mm -hmm. We'll say <laughs> we didn't have a bad impression no. of Kershaw. It was it not was a bad impression. Like just, but eh. exactly. Like, they kind of seemed very serious, whereas mm -hmm. everybody else would just seem like family and well, friends and good times. I feel like they were having fun. No, you really they, they weren't really smiling. Just be like they were excited answering, for their knives. They were answering your questions and they were showing you the knives that you like, wanted to, but they were just kind of like, go. yeah. Here you go. Frankie, you know what's weird? What? I think they were lacking a female presence. They were. They need a Frankie <laughs> presence. Oh, you a, want a job a, over there? A firecracker presence. <laughs> like you're a firecracker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yes. they were They were fine. It was just like, they were just, they, they seemed so serious. Yeah. You know, speaking of serious, kind of like Spider-Co a little bit. A little bit. They were not lacking the female presence. <laughs> they had lots of female presence, but it was all female presence. Yeah. And they were... You just yeah. need a little bit to play Again, off of not each a other. bad impression on them. Spider-Co is excellent, but they were just so serious. And you know what so, I have to say yeah. about Spider-Co? What's that? I kind of thought it was going to be bigger. Like the display? Yes. They had a corner booth on the it was wall. It corner, and it was just kind of... To be fair, Frankie, they were always so busy. Oh, yes, were, bags, bags. They gave out these, They gave out and lots of awesome. freebies, and we got some posters, too. I don't even yeah. actually know where the posters yeah, are. Yeah, I'm not sure. It just has a really cool... It has all the, the different steel. Don't get the wrong impression, guys. Spider-Co is awesome, mm -hmm. and they give it lot, lots of free stuff, but every time we went over there, they were very busy. Um, yeah. So maybe we didn't get the best thing. Right. They just seemed a little serious mm -hmm. and not like they were having so much fun. But, right. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, some of the steel makers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Damasteel. <laughs> we are learning about Damasteel. They're big in the collector market. Frankie, show some of these Everybody here. knows, too. These oh. were everywhere. <laughs> they have their own Band-Aids, you guys. Check uh -huh. these out, though. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at these things. This is some of the blade designs from Dam Steel. We're learning mm -hmm. about this. High-end custom knives, you guys. Yep. It was really cool because we went up to them and mm -hmm. they said, are you knife makers? Are you collectors? Whatever. And we were just like, oh, we're just collectors. Just, you know, fans mm -hmm. of knives. And right. They were so willing to talk to us just on that alone. Yeah, and they knew their stuff. It was just really... They gave us freebies. They're from Sweden. They were so friendly. They are from Sweden, some yeah. Sweden. Yeah, yeah, they were so friendly, these guys. Mm -hmm. um, Damas steel. Very yes. cool. Hope to see some stuff in the future. Carpenter steel, I grabbed this. They were busy every time we went over there, but uh, they got some excellent mm -hmm. steels, you love obviously. You steels. Well, shoot. Speaking of steels. Okay. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> some awesome pens. Those were really nice pens. Bowler Udelholm. Okay. All right. They make <laughs> LMAX, M390, some of the best steels out there, right? Frankie, they had a representative there. <laughs> well, they had two, right? Okay, so we walk up to them. Okay, here's an example of what they make. L Max, right? Okay, yeah, Microtech. This small little brand called Microtech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you may have heard of them, right? Yeah. Now maybe. we go up to the guy, we go up to the guy and um we're like, yeah. <laughs> he kinda asks the same questions, like, Oh, are you, you know, are you a manufacturer or what what what's how do you know us? And we were just like, Well, yeah, we're just collectors and we're just fans of knife steels. And he he said, "Oh, okay, cool. What you know?" He yeah, he was just asking general questions like, "How do you uh -huh. like what? Well, what's a knife maker?" And I said, "Oh, Microtech is one of them." He goes, "Oh, I'm not I'm not familiar with that." <laughs> I said, "Really?" I really? said, "Oh, um, you know, like the OTFs." And he wasn't sure with that. And then I showed him. Frankie, he was like. Ahead. A switchblade? <laughs> I showed him the knife because I was carrying one of the plain edge that day. And he's like, oh, a switchblade. Is that like fun? Or <laughs> He had no idea. I'm like, seriously, you're at Blade Show. I know that like the knife makers are probably not the biggest you know, purchaser of the products from the steel manufacturers. But if you're there at but Blade Show. Microtech, come on. They're probably one of the biggest like buyers of Buller, Buller Udelholm. <laughs> Oh, Max Steel, come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Like, he just, he didn't know. He didn't yeah. know. It but, was interesting. <laughs> it was awkward. The guy he was with, Frankie, I swear, I almost saw him do, like, the face palm. Like, like he knew oh. a little bit. He was older, and he just had a little bit more wisdom. You could tell. Mm -hmm. He could tell, like, um, yeah. 
<laughs> they, were, they were out of their there. element. Yeah. Yes, yes. But they had awesome pens. <laughs> and we did get awesome pens. Mm -hmm. Yes, what else? Benchmade sticker is very cool. We got a lot of Benchmade stickers. Microtech, speaking of them. Yeah. So much cool stuff from Microtech. Well, uh, we waited in that. line. We were told that if there was a Microtech line, wait in it. Get in it, yes. Um, yes. So we got in it. In and fact. we got four yep. knives from them. Yep. We got our allotted amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a bag from them. Oh, yep. shirts. Kaiser can't quite show Kaiser that. Kaiser gave us a lot of shirts. Yep. And hats. They and gave hats. us all kinds of stuff. They were giving out freebies along with straight knives. Mm -hmm. T shirts. We haven't even opened those yet. Yep. And stickers. GP knives. Okay. Straight. Yeah, trade stickers, yeah. Mm -hmm. GP knives. Okay, so um, Blade HQ has been a source for us for a long time. Right. GP knives might mm, be another yeah, new source. Yeah, it might be a yeah. good option. Yes, they're nearby we, here. We bought a couple knives from them. We did. We'll show those in the future here. Mm -hmm. that came I'm not from sure where. Frankie, you picked up a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, these were at A lot of the stuff when we got knives. home, you guys, I was just like, whoa, <laughs> you got some stuff, huh? Yeah, these were from GP knives. Yeah. They are just little knife bags. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we actually didn't even look at those. I just grabbed a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about like Frankie. Yeah, I like stickers, okay? This one we got from, oh, I think we got this one from the Reich guys. Yes, it so was kind of cool. lots of Chinese manufacturers were represented mm -hmm. there. Oh, I want a sword. Check this out. There's a Chinese knife museum or weapon museum, I think it that is. That would be is really cool, yeah. Yeah, very cool Ancient stuff. Ancient weaponry. Yeah. That'd be really cool. We'll read that. Cammy. Oh, yeah. They were awesome. Kami sharpeners. Mm -hmm. You guys all know that that's the sharpening system that we use. We were like celebrities over there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. They all knew us, and it was great. We it got recognized fun. a few times yeah. at Blade Show. That was really mm -hmm. cool. And definitely at uh, Kami, it was it was really cool to uh, to talk with those guys and meet them in person. Yeah, Frankie, exactly. We met, we met Dino. Here, open that up. Uh, he gave us this. Oh, uh, Dino, you guys will Some remember Some of you this. will know what this is. Uh, I was, that was so cool. It was awesome. He's an amazing artist. Mm-hmm. It figures he's like also a natural talent when it comes to sharpening. Because yeah, no look at that stuff. Look yeah, at the work. Yeah, awesome. Dino is a great, great guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we also met Knife Crazy, really cool dude. They were so busy there. They were really busy. Hopefully they Cammy. did really well. I hope. So. I think they did. I think they did very mm -hmm. well. They gave us the um, the compensator and the convex grind. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, really cool stuff. Some lots of stickers. Yeah, Cammy they is wanted awesome. to get rid of those. Oh, Custom Knife Factory. Uh, I'm Russian frustrated with Russian knife them. manufacturer. Why? Because I really wanted to buy that knife, but they had sold all of them to, like, Knife Center, and it was really annoying. Custom Knife Factory had mm -hmm. Russian knives from, from Russia with knives. <laughs> mm -hmm. They had a, well, first of all, they had a knife that I wanted, a little folder, the Peace. Right. Was it Peace Goat? I'm not sure. <laughs> I could be saying that wrong. Yeah. Really cool knife. Mm -hmm. um, and they sold that. I didn't buy them. $250. Frankie, they had a knife for you, like that angry <gasps> sombrero skeleton dude. Yes. Maybe it was a happy sombrero skeleton dude. It, yeah. It was awesome. If you know those knives, you'll probably know what we're talking about. $500. Frankie Dos wanted one. Muertos. And Dos Muertos? Or, I don't know. I don't we, speak We Spanish. didn't buy one, and they sold out, and we regret it. Custom mm -hmm. Knife Factory, though, is... Something we will look at in the yep. future. Spiderco 20... Uh, yeah, catalog of some of the newer knives. Yeah, this is just cool. It, it's a few things that I want, too. So yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> Smoky Oops. Mountain. They had a yeah. lot of stuff there. Blade Show... Or Blade Magazine. Yeah, Blade Magazine. Yeah, that again. AG Russell. Mm -hmm. Frankie, what else do you got over there? Oh, I got yeah. a lot of business cards. Lots of business cards. Well, who are we talking about here? Um. Well, I got the... Let's see here. That's Michael Vagiano. Oh, Vignino. Yep. Vignino. Kaiser is awesome. Joyce There's so is many super cards. Cool. Brian Ty, we almost bought one of these designs. Oh, uh, yeah, I was very close. Yeah. I was very, very close. On, like, so this the Titec 2 Tanto guys. Silver. That's what they're based off of. Basically, it was a silver handle. She almost got that one. It's $300. Mm -hmm. Almost got it. Yeah, I Same cool did. action as the Titec 2 Tanto. Mm hmm. Yep. So many uh, business cards that drop some. Riot. Dirk Pinkerton. You will see more from his knives. Yep, for sure. On our channel. Yes, very cool guy. Very cool designs. Uh, Reich. Reich knives. You will see more of this. Yeah, it was the actual guy high from... High end. It was this can. He was high just, end Chinese knives. Uh -huh. Very high end, yes. What else we got here? Maple. Another Maple Chinese. Maple was really yeah. cool. A lot of the Chinese knife makers I almost makers got one of those, too. Came very close. Oh, show mm -hmm. one of these, Frankie. We have oh, here. It's over here. Swank Hanks. Mm-hmm. We got one. <laughs> Guess why? There's a bird. 
The bird. It is gold. So it's dangerous. And on the other mm -hmm. side, it's black, yeah. Mm -hmm. You may may see this in uh, yep, you'll see that knives in on top of that in the future. You'll see that yeah. in the future. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. So much stuff. What's this? Some of the sponsors. I think this was some of the stuff that just mm -hmm. came in the free Blade Show event. Blah, blah, blah. Lots yeah, of ads. it's the same stuff. Here's the schedules. Exhibitors. Yeah. Battle some of the box. same stuff. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, very cool. Blade Show was awesome. Yeah. I want to go back. I want to still be there. I do, too. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. We will have been showing you some of the photos all along here, but yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. We will be back. It was such a great time. We felt like we were really in our element. Yeah. <laughs> we were. Really, really strange knife uh -huh. people. Yeah. Like I said before, it was cooler sausage. <laughs> 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 You're going to have to uh, check that out to see yeah. what, what that's about. But, what yeah. that means. <laughs> All right, guys, we will show you. We did get some stuff from Blade Show. Um, you will have seen that in yeah. some of the other we'll videos. We'll show what we purchased in future videos. Yes, yes. Some stuff mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah. You're going to want to see. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.